Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. If you're here, if you're returning, if you're here for the first time, welcome. Alright, let's go ahead and hop into some messages and see what comes out for you guys at this time, okay? Ginger, Alec, or Alex, Monique, Monifa, Monica, something about geraniums, Mary, plant the seed, flowers, growing, growing flowers, planting flowers, okay, flowers blooming, we are um, in the springtime, okay, so flowers blo blooming, the number 44 could be significant, somebody could be 44, April the 4th could be significant, Libra, what messages do you have for Libra spirit? Please to guide me and protect me as I channel the messages for Libra at this time. But I can leave our negative energy and or spell work things this way. I show you man. Okay, Libra, I see you being um, unsure about something here. All right. Um, you're not sure if you can do something when it comes to, I don't know what it comes to, but it's like a leadership role. You, you, you have the ability to lead. Um, you can show others the way and, and help people out, help others out. Um, you can be a leader. You are a leader, but you're unsure about it. You could be unsure about whether or not you're making the right decisions, um, whether you're going in the right direction or on the right path here. Okay. But I feel like you have the ability to lead the way okay you, you are a leader you have the ability to be a leader there could be someone that's making you feel like you don't have that um like you can't do something okay there could be someone making you feel like you can't do something somebody is dismissive of your your ideas of your thoughts um and things like that okay yeah you need to be more in the present moment libra i don't know what it is but on the bottom of the deck it says you can't go back to yesterday so be in the now and then um this one says not living in the now okay be in the present not living in the now so yeah there's something about worry like don't worry about the things you can't control the things you can't change the things that other people are saying about you um or anything like that because it's like you're you're too focused on the left when you should be focused on the right you know what i'm saying it's like don't worry about what's going on over there worry about what's in front of you but i do feel like there is someone that's making you feel like you can't do something um, talking down on you, maybe even laughing at you because it's something that you want to do, something you want to pursue. Um, yeah, it, it feels like a motherly type of energy, too, or like a older person that kind of looks down on you. I don't know what that's about, but it whoever this person is, they make you feel like you can't do something or they make you feel unsure of yourself all right the number 28 could be significant 35 39 the number 12 december could be significant capricorn sagittarius energy march 9th february the 8th march 5th could be significant january the 2nd okay yeah, it's like an overbearing mother type of energy that I'm picking up on. And this is like, it's crazy. This may be someone that makes you feel like you're never good enough. You can never be her, your sister or your brother or your siblings. Yeah, this may be somebody that has a um, doesn't understand your belief system. They don't, your energies don't, your energies clash with this person, okay? 
35, 35, I'm seeing, you could see, um, you may want to look up that number. Somebody could be 35 or um, look up that angel number, 35, 35. Yeah, I feel like you're someone who's very spiritual. I'm connecting here with someone who's very spiritual. Um, yeah, a time for change, learning something new. I feel like um, this person, whoever this overbearing energy is, it, it's heavy. Like, it's strong. Like, I'm good grief. Like, I feel like I'm in trouble right now. Like, this person could make you feel like you're constantly in trouble or you're constantly doing something wrong and always looking over your shoulder or demeaning you or telling you how you're not how you not doing something and if it's not a mother it's a mother figure or somebody who is a mother or it's like a grandmother or it's like a auntie sister some some type of feminine energy okay um that is kind of overbearing all right what else like this person likes to make you feel small like you never feel seen or heard when you're when it comes to this person Tell me more. But I feel like you're someone who is is spiritual and this person doesn't get it. You could even be like a tarot reader. You could read you could read cards and this person could be kind of like religious or they could be like, yeah, no, you shouldn't be doing that. I don't think that's right. I don't agree with that. Or I or I don't understand it. It's stupid. Like, what are you doing? Like something like that. It's weird. This is somebody who was not on board with your spiritual journey. They don't understand it and they don't really care to understand it because you're not doing what they think that you should be doing. You're not following the path that they think that you should be following here, okay? But you are a leader, okay? You have the ability and all the makings to be a leader. And I feel like with that not being in the present moment, remember I said you were focused on left when you should be focused on right that gives me focused on the past when you be, you should be focused on the present and your future like you should be focused on um but it's like this person is like in your head in your mind in your ear you know like that inner voice that inner critic it's like that person is that like always there even if they're not physically telling you that you can't do something they've the way that they're ingrained in your mind and in your brain, the things that they said and stuff like that can pop back up and it always makes you second guess yourself, okay? Yeah, magic. So you need to clear your space. You need to clear your energy of whoever this person is of this situation because, um, yeah, that's going to bring in some powerful personal growth here. Um, creating, clearing your energy. Yes, this is somebody that's trying to, that always tries to um, invoke their dominance over you. Maybe like even invade your privacy. This person doesn't care about your boundaries or anything like that. Like they invade your personal space. Yeah, so it's time for you to clear your space, clear your life of this energy. Okay, because that is hindering your, it could be hindering your personal growth. All right, what else? So you have the three fates here. So I'm getting what goes around comes around. So <sighs> something could be coming back around. What is this? Somebody could be 30 or 26. March 26 could be significant. Somebody could be 39. Oh, okay. So there's, okay. So yeah, clear your energy, Libras, because there's something that you are meant to do, something you're supposed to be doing, you're destined to do here, okay? And you could have like, um, kind of put a pin in it, so to speak. Like, okay, I'm not going to do that right now for whatever reason, you had this good idea. Remember I said this is somebody that's always like trying to make you seem that your ideas aren't good enough, that you can't do this, you can't do that. Um, if you bring up something to this person, they make it make they make you feel like it's stupid. Like, um, you like, Oh, I wanna start this business and do this and this and this and they're like, Why? 
that's stupid. That's not going to make any sense. That's not going to make any money. Nobody's going to want that. Nobody's going to buy that. Why are you why are you doing that? Why would you waste your time doing that? Like that type of energy. So I feel like you you stopped something because of this person um her or these people, but you stopped doing something and I'm I'm hearing something about a child. So this could this could have happened when you were a child. Um like you stop doing something or you stop being interested in something or you didn't act on something that you wanted to do because of this energy this ne because of the negativity because of the naysayer the, and the control i don't know it's, uh, uh, this energy is like ugh. okay <laughs> but um yeah i feel like now you're getting the opportunity um to do something again or try something again something is coming back around okay you're having um an uh, epiphanies and you're realizing why you didn't do something the first time and it could have had something to do with this energy okay um i want to pull something on this person this overbearing energy is this the deck that I want to use? I don't know. Let's see. Tell me about this overbearing. Um, I don't think this is the deck I want to use. Um, let's see. Let's see. Let's see. What deck do I need to use? Overbearing. I'm going to use this one because it, it feels kind of dark, this energy. So I'm going to use the Black Tarot deck and see what happens. And I feel like, yeah, this is somebody whose voice is like constantly in your head. I just heard mimicking you as well. Leo Sagittarius energy. I said something about Sagittarius in the beginning. Tell me about this um, overbearing mother energy. Mm, okay. The devil at the bottom of the deck. So Capricorn. Ooh, Ace of Swords, Two of Cups. Child. Mm, okay. I said Sagittarius and Capricorn. Tell me about this overbearing mother energy. I just heard spirits. So something about the spirits? Something about spirits. Ace of spheres is here, like the ace of coins. Tell me about this overbearing mother energy. Could be a Virgo Taurus or a Capricorn. Tell me about this overbearing mother energy. the empress is literally the mother card y'all i know it's it is libra energy and taurus energy but the empress if you look it up is literally the mother card the fertility card so yeah this is about a mother the one who birthed you gave you life for some of you this is a a mother or your mother or a mother figure okay pisces energy could be another libra or a taurus or a virgo or a capricorn Yeah, Scorpio energy is here. Pisces is heavy. Sagittarius. I just feel like this is somebody who makes you feel like you're not on the right path all the time. Like they try to, they they try to like confuse you. But yeah, this is definitely a mother or somebody's mother with the Empress card showing up here. Okay, so. Um, yeah, this is somebody that tries to keep anytime. It's like anytime you try something new, they try to keep you hung up like the hangman. All right. I want to know a little bit more. I to look the hangman again about this, um, overbearing energy. Tell me more about 
about this over there energy. Yeah, this was somebody that could have definitely made you feel undervalued. Okay, you have the star, the justice, Aquarius, Libra energy. What else? I feel like um, the tower. So I feel like despite this, yeah, remember I said something about, um, this could be a father too, y'all. I'm seeing the emperor in reverse. So you're, you could have had an absent father. So this, I, I could be connecting with someone who had an absent father. Um, maybe you just only had your mother. Okay. And, but this mother could be a bit like a control freak. Okay. Like a bit of a control freak. Um, but you, so, um, what was I saying? Oh, I feel like despite whatever this is, um, there's a tower moment that happened or is happening to where you're going to get, um, there's going to be some healing here. The star card is about a wish being granted. Okay. And I feel it's about spirituality as well and i feel like i don't know i feel like you're getting like a new um you're in you're newly inspired you're going through you've been healing and you you've um you're bringing things into balance things are coming back into balance and there's after some type of tower moment after something happened what is this tower moment about cuz something is happening that is bringing balance restoring balance into your life and it's helping you to reach some goal or to renew your purpose and to follow your your journey your destiny okay what is this tower about oh child i just heard despite look at the empress in the reverse child hold on i gotta write what I just heard now. I'm hearing despite this overbearing mother energy. You're still finding your purpose. Like this is someone who could have tried to. And again, it could be a mother figure. Okay. Um. Like, it could be an auntie, it could be a grandmother, it could be an older sibling or something like that. I don't know, okay? Somebody that raised you, somebody you grew up with. Um, there's another deck that I'm being called to use as well. But I feel like somebody could have tried to snuff out your light at like a young age. Look, religion on the bottom of this deck that I'm about to use. I said this could be somebody that was religious, okay? Um, but yeah, so the Empress in reverse is about block creativity, insecure, dependence. Somebody wanted you to be dependent on them. They wanted to block your creativity. Okay. They didn't want you to tap in. Oh, I just heard they didn't want you to have these powers, child. They didn't want you to have these powers. They didn't want you to tap into certain powers and certain knowledge. Okay. So they could have tried to snuff out your light at a very, you know, at an early age, probably since birth. Both of these, the empress is about fertility and birth and motherhood. So, yeah, probably since birth, since they found out, found out what you are or who you are or who you could become or found out the potential. It's kind of like giving jealousy to you got hermit here, Virgo energy. It's like this person always wanted you to be dependent on them. Um, they wanted to keep you stuck or blocked. Like, why though? It's crazy. Why? This is my karmic family deck, so I'm going to um, use this deck to see what comes out about this energy. Tell me more. What else? Tell me more about this. Look, gossiping about you. This is somebody that talks about you. Yeah. They, 
This person gossips about you, whether it's family or like family. They gossip about you. They talk about you. They tell people your business or what they think is your business. So, I'm saying yes, you can trust them. So, there is someone here that you can trust. You could be the black sheep of the family, okay? And there's someone that you're not speaking to. Maybe even this is your child or, or this is your parent. Oh, yeah, because you have the child or children card out here, then mother, father, sister, brother, okay? So, yeah, either you're the child or... Or you're the parent and there's a distance in the relationship here. Because somebody is ugly on the inside. Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, air signs, a toxic liar, abuser, jealous of you. Could have been spiritually attacking you. Okay. So you have, yes, you can trust them. There is someone that you can trust here. So let me see. What is this? Who is this person that Libra can trust? I'm hearing your sister or your brother. Okay. So you have mother, father, sister, brother. So yeah, I'm, I'm hearing your sister or your brother. So you're like your siblings. I feel like you can trust. But there is somebody, um, there could be somebody that's sick or has some type of illness that's in need of like some type of help. But I feel like if you are wondering if you can trust a mother, father, I feel like this is sister, brother, though. I feel like this is siblings. Like, you can trust that sibling, okay? You do have someone here that's angry and hidden family secrets. This could even be you. This could be like a sibling telling you something, um, 22, 22 on the timer. This could be a sibling telling you something about your family and ma it making you angry. But you can trust what this person is saying. They are telling you the truth, even though it may be hard to hear or a hard pill to swallow. They may be telling you something about your family that you don't know or about you or something that happened to you when you were um, younger. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, um, Cancer, Pisces, Aquarius. I'm also hearing Scorpio. What else? Okay, yeah, because you could you could have some type of spiritual gifts. Remember, I, I just said spiritual attack. Um, so you could be someone with psychic abilities. You have some type of spiritual gifts. Remember, I was saying you could be a tarot reader, or um, maybe you connect with the with the unalive. Because I'm hearing talking to the dead child. So you may be like a medium or something like that. Somebody may be angry because of your spiritual gifts. It may be a hidden secret, like spiritual gifts probably run in your family. But I feel like somebody didn't want you to know or you to have them. And you distant, You need to distance yourself from some evil stepmother. Now, this is stepmother, father, sister, or brother. A Cancer, Pisces, or a Scorpio. Because they're jealous of you. Something to do with money. Yep, spell work and manipulation. Mm-hmm. They could even be paying for a spell work or tarot, read, tarot readings or something on you. Or the, or maybe you you make your money by doing something spiritual or using your gifts in some type of way. And this person is jealous of you. What's the hidden family secrets about? I feel like spiritual gifts. And they may be trying to hide your gifts from the family. Like maybe that's what it was. And you're angry to find this out. Oh, man, you know what's crazy? Yeah, you could have distanced yourself from this person, from these people. Yeah, look, okay. Okay. 
So this is, I feel like this is you, attractive, beautiful spirit, magnetic, desired, outgoing personality, humble. You're, you're a beautiful soul, a beautiful spirit, right? And it says childhood memories, past old friends. So yeah, I feel like this is something that, something about your childhood. You could have isolated yourself or felt alone in your childhood. You may have Virgo in your chart. Um, yeah. Oh, I feel like somebody's been doing spell work and manipulation. Whoever this person is or these people is that's coming in that wants to reconcile with you, I feel like you, you can't trust them. See, this one says, no, you can't trust them. And I feel like it's whoever this toxic person is that's, that wants to come in and um, kind of reconcile. You haven't been speaking to this person. You distance yourself from this person or these people. This person could be married. Okay, this, we could be talking about somebody who is married. Yeah, I feel like they're jealous of you, the black sheep of the family, and you're, you could be getting, it's something to do with money. This person has no love for you. They're a liar, and they just nosy. Always be up in your business. Child. <laughs> this person, people could be saying that you're lazy, broke, no job, handouts, or this is somebody, um, this is somebody else. You distance yourself from the people that were, um, wanting handouts and, um, or that or that we're talking about you or saying things about you. Okay, I feel like this is family, look, family, friend, distant relative, aunt and uncle will be your cousin. All right, so yeah, I'm gonna leave this here, Libra. I hope that this helped, gave somebody some true clarity, confirmations you may have been seeking. I'll see y'all in the next reading. All right, bye.